Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com. My name is Ramandeep Singh and today we are going to do 10 important questions for IBPS SO marketing mains exam. बहुत ही important topics आज हम करने वाले हैं. जो topics हम करेंगे, we are going to explain the concepts as well. Concept explain करना बहुत ज़्यादा ज़रूरी है. You watch a movie and find out that a particular brand crops up. Uh, in it very often it is an example of broadcast advertising so aap ek movie dekh rahe ho aur brand bar bar aa raha hai wo aap broadcast marketing hai broadcast advertising hai now the other terms surrogate advertising and convert advertising convert advertising not a very popular term but uh, when you are targeting that uh, conversions aap chahte ho ki jo viewer hai uh, wo koi action le the person is going to take some action. Uh, action kya ho sakta hai? Uh, action can be uh, make a purchase. Make a purchase. That can be an action. Or fill a form. Fill a form. Sign up to your website. Sign up to a website. Or a webinar. Okay or schedule a call okay this can this can be you know forms of convert advertising then what is surrogate advertising very common uh, give this a look in india the alcohol companies uh, the breweries they are not allowed to make advertisements right so imperial blue ki advertisement nahi aa sakti directly uh, Pan para ki advertisement nahi aa sakti, officer choice ki nahi aa sakti. That is why they come up with sodas. Imperial blue CDs, music CDs, or officer choice blue sodas, kingfisher sodas, okay, club sodas. And in case of tambaku brands, for example, Vimal, instead of, you know, advertising tambaku, because that is not legal, they are advertising pan masala. Vimal Pan Masala. So instead of advertising Gutka, they are advertising Pan Masala. So these are the examples. Okay. Uh, the products under the brand name Royal Enfield are motorcycles. Okay. Please remember that uh, the Royal Enfield, it's a motorcycle. And also remember the various brands and the companies that own them. Uh, in the last years, the question asked was Detol which company owns Detol, Rickett Bikinzer, I guess. So uh, Mondelez, Mendelez, I guess, uh, owns Dairy Milk, right? So please remember these names, these brand names and the important, um, and the companies owned, own these brand names. So really, really important. Aishar Motors owns uh, Royal Enfield brand, okay. Recently, Mahindra um, purchased Java Motorcycle, BSA, and yes, the brands and they are selling those bikes in India now. Uh, a lot of UK brands bought by Indian companies. Dividend yield, a very important concept. What, what do you mean by dividend yield? Dividend per share divided by market price of the share is the dividend yield. Dividend per share divided by market price of a share. That that means dividend yield. Ek saal mein, a company char rupee agar dividend deti hai and market price of the share is 100 rupees 4 percent is the dividend yield okay so please remember that very important question when a company acquires a supplier through an acquisition strategy this is referred to as what when a company acquires supplier through acquisition strategy this is referred to as company acquires supplier through acquisition that is backward integration. So please give it a look. So a company is acquiring, let's say this is, uh, you know, the buyers are there, the stores, importers, manufacturers, suppliers, commodity producers. So first of all, the commodity is produced and suppliers are there, manufacturers are there, importers, stores, buyers, right? So uh, let me give you a simple, further simple example. Uh, the farmers, the farmers, they produce cotton. The farmers, they produce cotton. Okay. And then uh, it goes to mills, right? It goes to mills. They produce cotton. And the mills, they are producing cloth. Okay. 
cotton mills and then these are going to you know factories where they make t-shirts maybe right t-shirts and then it's going to you know malls and stores where uh, people like you and me we buy the t-shirt stores um, in the malls right and then it goes to the customers final customers final customers okay stores malls okay so let's say uh, the stores such as some big stores uh, such as uh, uh, you name it actually uh, levi's levi's i mean they they are a chain of stores right they go on to buy the factories they go on to buy the factories what kind of integration is this they are buying their supplier they are buying their supplier that is backward integration further they are going to the mills further they are going i mean to the farmers right i mean obviously they won't go that back but that is backward integration okay so if a mill is purchasing a factory uh, a t-shirt factory that would be forward integration simple example forward integration backward integration okay mohan sahani has proposed the concept of mohan sahani has proposed a concept of dash to describe so pure uh, jo definition diya hua hai to describe a cluster of complementary products and services that are closely related in the minds of consumer but are spread across diverse set of industries uh, let me give you an example cluster of complementary products in ludhiana mm, there is a place there is a place where you can find all the spare parts the auto spare parts bicycle sp auto spare parts i mean it's a hub ludhiana is a hub of auto spare parts so there is a market where you can find all kind of auto spare parts starting from wheels to the brake shoes to uh, to the windshield i mean related to cars to bike all kind of spare parts you can find in one market i mean there is a market proper market for that so this is known as a meta market that is a meta market related complementary products are available at at a place that is meta market okay vertical integration i have already explained in the previous examples horizontal integration uh for example one fmcg company uh, acquires another fmcg company to increase their market share that would be a horizontal integration that would be a horizontal integration okay beta market as i don't think <laughs> it's a word it's cell is just banaya hua hai core competence of a company helps it to maintain an edge over its competitors position its product better price its product in a better way so it helps to you know basically वैसे मेरे हिसाब से the answer uh, of this question should be all of this actually it can be all of this all of this should be the answer not maintain maintain an edge is also an answer so the the core competence of a company helps the company to reduce its pride, uh, prices if they are into a price war wo saste mein achhi quality ke product bana sakte hain they can make better products at lower prices okay so that is core competence legards are the i mean legards in the so smartphones smartphones who is using a smartphone right now everybody so when smartphones were introduced who were using youngsters not youngsters people between the age of like 22 actually youngster between 22 to 35 these were the people who were actually uh, started using uh, smartphones but nowadays everybody is using it Uh, the senior citizens started using it and they were the last to start using the smartphone so these are the individuals who are last to accept an innovations smart watches right so the people above the age of 60 they are 60 plus they are last to uh, you know accept and innovation they are last to accept they they don't uh, run after fads okay swot analysis strength weakness opportunities threats so talent is not there t means threats okay
Porter's five force model includes bargaining power of customers, advertising threat uh, of uh, substance substitute products, actually bargaining power of suppliers. So advertising is not there. It should be substitute. So Porter's five uh, model threat of new entrants, threat of substitute, bargaining power of buyer, bargaining power of supplier, rivalry among existing competitors. These are the five forces in Potter model. Please remember that. Okay, paper mein bar bar aata hai. Very important question asked in the previous uh, paper, PEST. Uh, in PEST, you should know the full form of PEST. T stands for technological. Uh, PEST means See, there are a lot of factors that can affect the growth or decline of a market or a business, right? Political, economic, social and technology can be there. Pol in political uh, reasons can be there. Political kya ho sakta hai? Wars, right? Now, Russia and Ukraine war is affecting uh, the global trade. Trade wars are there. Tariff uh, structures are obviously re restricting. Political factors, right? Wars, tariff structure, it impacts. Relations between two countries, it impacts. Economic inflation situation, right? Exchange rates, uh, recessions, global losses, macroeconomic uh, factors affect the, the overall demand of a product. Social uh covid 19 it was although it, it it was sort of a social factor the mass protest can affect demand for certain products it can affect the economies uh sustainability health and wellness consumer confidence affects the demand and markets technology affects a lot how people actually make purchases the factors that are influencing their purchases e-commerce is affecting a lot so the way people interact with the uh, technology i mean it affects the demand of many products right so this is pest analysis political economic social and technological factors uh, affect demand of products um, i mean it affects uh, it helps in understanding market growth dec and decline of a business students ibps so marketing 2023 course is available on bank .com, in which we are covering the entire syllabus with the help of video classes live sessions notes are available in the downloadable format quizzes are there test series is there and proper interview preparation guidance is provided all the links are available in the description please check the description links are there List of our successful students in 2022, all these students that took our courses and they cracked their respective exams. I'm really, really happy for all of them, all these students that took our courses in last three years and they cracked their respective exams. I'm really, really happy for them. And that's actually all for today. If there is any doubt in your mind, 9067201000. This is my personal WhatsApp number where you can ask your doubts and we are going to answer your doubts. And that's actually all for today's students. Thank you and have a very nice day. Bye-bye.